everyone, it's Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures. And the new year, 2020, is just around the corner. What does that mean? That means I have to somehow unbox all of these so I can get them organized and ready for the new year. You know, 2020, I did slash the stash 2020. I don't know what I'm gonna do for 2021, but I want to show you what I have purchased over the last six months and this is how we're going to do it. You guys are going to see the first of the DAC extravaganza, okay? I'm gonna open three at a time. There's gonna be three videos in a row, but I'm only gonna make the first one public. If you watch all the way till the end, you can click on the video of the unlisted other two. So you can see the other two before they go live. So it's live, but not live right? Public, but not public. So that pays to watch all the way until the end so you can see the next video. If you're running out of time and you don't watch till the end, don't worry. Video two and video three will be released over the next couple days publicly, but I just wanted you to know there is a way to sneak and see what I have opened. These are all sorts of potential new releases, Black Friday openings, um, things I've purchased over the last six months, but due to just working so hard and other things coming in, I haven't been able to open them yet. So I hope you enjoy, check it out. Can't wait to see you on the other side. Okay, so here are three Diamond Art Clubs I randomly selected from the amount that I have not opened in the last six months. As I said in my opening, the reason I did not open these usually was because they were sold out by the time I received them because of, you know, COVID. If you're watching this in the future, we had, you know, like a nine month period where we had to jump on the bandwagon and grab them as soon as we could because stock was low. Now Diamond Art Club is caught up. They understand this new manufacturing delay and they've been doing a great job. And so I wanted to open these up over the next couple weeks just to show you and then you can go purchase if you want. Um, and yeah. So the plan is I will open one in this video, watch till the end, and if it's in real time, you'll get a sneak peek at the end. You can click on and keep watching these open. Otherwise, it's going to take a couple days for each one of these to be released publicly to everybody. So by watching till the end of the video, you can see what else I'm opening. So I'm gonna open this middle one first. All right, so as you can see right here with the pink line rather than the blue line, this is going to be a round. And I love that Diamond Art Club thought of this in their marketing plan of right off the bat, you see what type of painting you're getting. Just so you guys know, they only offer it in round or in square and they only offer it in one size because these are hand charted and every size would need a new way to chart. And so they probably, I don't know this, I'm just thinking of this. I wonder if they sit down and figure out what way is best for this particular painting. Okay, so let's look in here. See what's in here now I purchased all of these these aren't sneak peeks some of them may be new releases but I've purchased them all over the course of the past six months here's the toolkit look for the picture to see what's inside the toolkit did you get that with each one Diamond Art Club also started putting stickers into their paintings I'll show you that sticker in a minute I love that they have it also wrapped in here, so you've got it um, saran wrapped, cellophane wrapped to keep it protected, and it comes in its own box as well. Then you've got it wrapped inside. 
Do, do, do. This one is one of the few that I decided when it was coming out that I would not buy it. I, I had restraint and then it took months and months and months for it to come out. So not only are there instructions on the outside of the box, there's also instructions on the inside and you get a 10% off. However, if you want 15% off, there is a code down below that you can use. You guys ready? Okay, it is. Can you guess what that is? Probably be best if I put you the right way. This is Hannah Lynn's Red Riding Hood. It's a 22 by 30 and it's a full pasting area. I love how they put on their paintings now the size, who the artist is, and then if it's full or partial. In the past, they only did full, but now that they have a couple partials, it's nice to have that there. The wolves. I know Wolf Pack's doing a wolf along, and I was thinking to myself, I don't have any paintings with wolves, but this one has wolves in it. Okay, so look at that. Look how big it is. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. Oh, when I had Hannah Lynn on interviewed, she asked us all, what did we like most as far as images? And I told her I liked the scenes, the ones with things in the background. I have Mother Earth right here next to me. And that has a lot of things. But this, you've got the trees, you've got her whole body, that beautiful face and those eyes, the braids and her hair. This great dress. I wish I could wear this dress. Although if I wore this dress, I, <laughs> I'd look like I had, a, I don't know. I'm not even going there. Love the red cape. Look at these adorable little wolves. They're like, I will come with you. We will guide you to grandmother's house. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And I believe this has two ABs in it. If I look over here, they have a key up in the upper right and down in the, I mean, the upper left and the, down in the bottom right. They have their social media, they have their lifetime warranty. Now, I will say if you buy it off of one of the de-stashing, the warranty does not transfer. I love on here how they have the name, so if it does get separated, and then these colors. So you've got, these are 3371, so it's like a dark brown versus black. I love 814, that burgundy meets cranberry. You've got some of these reds, you've got that 890 green, 815, and then you keep, I mean, this is actually pretty colorful. They've got some 310s in there, and then the AB, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Um, you've got a blue in there for AB. And then I'm trying to find the other AB in here. Do, do, do. You make me open you all the way up. If I open it, I can't close it again. Okay. No, nope, that's not it. It's, I think it's a green. I can't find. There it is. You guys are all laughing at me. So AB stands for the Aurora Borealis and it gives it like a sequence rainbow coating on the outside versus a sparkle, if that makes any sense. That's why I like to explain it. And then the sticker, 
you can put right in your log book. So if you open up your log book, here's your sticker. You can put it right in there. It fits perfectly, perfect sizing, peels right off. And then you can put when you got the kit, was it a custom, the drill types, where you purchased it from, and then you have an unboxing and a post review. And then some notes. I like to leave notes of certain companies, like quick shipping, great customer service, popping drills, offers, you know, only offers one size or offers multiple sizes. You know, ever moment, maybe you write it's a square only company, those kind of things. So the nice thing about the log book is then you're not double buying because you can go in, did I buy this on a different site or, you know, sometimes wait for the crinkle to end. Sometimes I think, did I just watch an unboxing or did I actually buy that image? And I have ended up with a duplicate before. So this is beautiful. And like I said, it is 22 by 30 inches, 56 by 76. Let's measure it just to make sure for the unboxing that it's legit. So it is 56 centimeters across. Turn it. And it is just, yep, 76 exact. Let's see where some of the ABs are. So the green AB is here in the trees, a little bit in her eyes, the back of her neck. And then number two is the blue. And that looks like um, come on, where oh, just kind of here, just in these little areas to give you a little pop. I want to say it's dark out because this almost looks like the night sky. And then if you want to see up close, I'll get you up close. There we go. All right, isn't she breathtaking? She is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna quick reset and box this up again and do a second unboxing. So I hope that you like this. If you wanna see more unboxings from different companies, go ahead and subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.